Hi, and welcome to assignment 23, Essay Notes. So, this is all about how to write an essay, how to format it, and especially how to cite works. As you go through your academic career, you're going to have to do presentations, you're going to have to write up lab reports, you're going to have to um, write up essays, do opinion pieces, etc. So there's all sorts of different writing and presentation that you have to do. And we always want to make sure that it's in a format that makes it easier for the person reading it in, to follow. Now, a large part of this is all about plagiarism. So plagiarism is when you copy somebody's work and present it as your own. So you know that if you're writing a creative story for English class, you should not go to Reader's Digest, for example, and copy out uh, story out of their latest issue. Okay, That would be plagiarism. You're pretending something else is yours when it is belongs to somebody else and it's somebody else's idea. Now, the way that you get around this to a degree is called citing the works. So when you're presenting somebody else's idea or research something that they found, you simply have to acknowledge this isn't yours and this came from somebody else. And there's a couple of different ways of doing this. Uh, if you go to college and university, professors will be extremely picky about how this is all set up. And if you're doing research yourself, once in a while, this becomes really useful to figure out, this is a really weird idea. Where's this from and how do they justify this? Now, most of your research is being done more and more on the web. Uh, so you'll find a lot more work on websites. Uh, previously, when I went to school before the internet, a lot of all this was done on journals. You'll still find most universities and colleges have large libraries of journals, etc. And you still look through them in order to find things. So there is still some uh, chasing paper, uh, but a lot more can be done online, but again, you have to acknowledge how this is done properly. So if we take a look at a different document here. So when you're citing sources, key thing is you want the reader or person you're presenting to, to be able to find this information and verify what you're saying is correct. Uh, even if you say something incorrect, you, you're now pointing to another source and it's not your idea, it's somebody else's idea. So you get to blame them if it's wrong, but you have to be able to show the fact that you researched this properly and you found this as an issue. So in order to cite works, what we want to do is clearly identify who is the author. So generally, if you can figure out who wrote this, you'll know what's going on. And especially when you're presenting to a professor in a field, they know a lot of the people that work in that field. If they see the name, they know this person, they know what sorts of ideas that they have. Uh, lots of academic field, you're not dealing with that many people. Next, you want the title of the source. So this is the title of the article, title of the book, whatever they've written. Now, in a lot of cases, it's from a journal. So just like a magazine, you'll need the title of the container. So that would be the name of the magazine. And the title of the source is the article inside that magazine, for an example. Other contributors. Often, uh, there's more than one person would write. So what you will have is you will have the lead researcher who gets their name first. And then you have all the graduate students that help them put together and collate the work and find out bits and pieces and do research, etc. So they get their name in there as well. So they get a share of the glory. Uh, you also see things like versions and numbers uh, that often helps you find out which magazine, journal, etc. that it's from. The publisher of that journal. So if the person is looking for it they can, and they can't find the author, they can go straight to the publisher and order an extra copy of that journal or magazine. Uh, often you'll write down the city because sometimes these publishers will have multiple addresses around the world and it's a lot easier if it was published in New York, go to the New York office. If it was published in Moscow or Pretoria or London or Paris or who knows where, if you go to that office, you're going to find somebody who knows where it was published. You talk to the New York office about something published in Europe, they may not know, they may have a lot harder time finding it. So it speeds things up again. Uh, publication date. So again, if it's a magazine, they need to know when that article was published. And what you're going to be using a lot more is URLs. Universal Resource Locator, that is the web address. And especially if you're using a web address, put down the access date. A lot of websites change their content, move things around. So if you have that access date, then there's other resources you can go to and actually look up what that website used to look like and find the information. So hopefully that helps you out. Take a look, read through the notes. It goes step by step how to do the formatting and you shouldn't have any problems. So good luck.